Hey everyone, and welcome back to the multi-dimensional journey. This is your host, Ayahuasca Carr. And today uh, I will be sharing with you one of my favorite Kundalini yoga techniques, a uh, breath of fire. But before we get into that, be sure to hit the subscribe button um, on this channel. If you want to stay up to date with videos, go and hit the like button. If you like this video and go ahead and share this video uh, with a friend who you think could benefit from it. So Kundalini yoga, uh, so incredible. Um, if you don't know anything about Kundalini yoga, um, first of all, I got turned on to this yoga, uh, totally randomly many, many years ago, about five years ago. And it was through the artist Natam Carr. And this is actually why I've changed my last name to Carr. Um, she's played a really large role in my life, uh, because of healing, um, through her mantras. And even when I started listening to her music, I had no idea that this was connected to Kundalini yoga or anything like that. Um, but her music would play a lot in my ayahuasca ceremonies in the beginning of my healing journeys and, and that sort of thing. So, um, so not, not, I'm not going to get too much into the, the beauty of Kundalini yoga, um, but Breath of Fire is probably something you know about. Um, it's, it's an incredible breath work. It's so, so simple. Um, and you can go at it your own pace. Sometimes people are really, really intimidated because of the, the fastness of it. Um, and, and just remember, never push yourself beyond comfort. Uh, it's, it's not a breath work that's actually recommended for women who are pregnant or you've had, had a history of seizures. Um, but just also keep in mind, I'm not there with you and we can't do this whole assessment thing and, and that sort of thing. So just keep that in mind. It's not recommended, uh, for those types of situations. Uh, and really all it is, is you want to breathe. It's all nostril breathing and it's a rapid pace in and out through the belly. So it goes like this. And so uh, be sure to <laughs> blow your nose before. I'm getting over a cold actually. So, and I have my camera angled so you guys can actually see my, my body today. So, um, and really if you're first starting out, really I would recommend you just start out with like a set of five or a set of 10, pause, maybe just take a few deep breaths And then go at it again. So I'm going to put this up here since we're done with that part. Um, so there's many, many benefits of this type of breath work. Um, honestly, like one, one of the, if you're wanting to dispel, uh, if you're wanting to energize yourself, this will surely, you know, kick up any sort of fatigue that you're feeling throughout the day. It's also a good way to dispense anger. If you're feeling anger and you want to exercise that out, the breath of fire will definitely help you expel that. Um, and then, um, Oh yes, the one thing that breathwork is really getting well known for is inducing a state of non-ordinary state of consciousness. And of course, this has been around for many, many, many years. Um, all breathing, pran pranayamas, um, breathwork, uh, that's related to a lot of the yogic philosophies and the yogic uh, lineages is all also tied with mantras and mudras and a way to do some self-psychology, self-hypnosis, right? To basically be the master of your own mind and body. This is the whole point of, of all these teachings. And uh, 
I've, I've studied a lot of them. I call myself a, a jack of all trades, a master of none. <laughs> um, and so this is kind of across the board what happens with, uh, with uh, breath work. And so, so you're throwing yourself into this non-ordinary state of consciousness with the breath of fire if you do it long enough. You can really achieve these states of buzzing and um, you bypass the ego, you, you completely change your state. Um, so if you notice yourself in a state and you don't like it, you're like, oh, I don't like this state, I wanna shift it, then you can use the breath of fire to do that. Now that's not to say to ignore every emotion that comes up and not process it, right? But this is just another tool in your toolbox to help you change state, you know, especially if we are feeling really stressed out or if we're feeling anger, like these just really human things that we all deal with. Um, and you, you are in the, uh, you do have a tool in your toolbox already where you do the analysis paralysis. I, in my opinion, we all kind of need a corner, so to speak, for that part of ourselves because there's no getting rid of, of the very, very human aspect in which we all need to work through our stuff, right? So the breath of fire can be that way to kind of induce this buzzing state. And uh, I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos. Basically, um, the, the coin term in the breath work community is getting high on your own supply. And it's absolutely true. It absolutely happens. Um, so I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something about breath of fire and a little bit about Kundalini yoga. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please look below, um, find the links to my services for individuals, couples and groups. I do cacao ceremonies and many, many other things in, as far as ayahuasca integration, um, trauma integration, helping people overcome, heal and raise their consciousness. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and remember why you came here.